So as we age, our arteries steadily lose what's called their compliance, or it's basically their stiffness or elasticity. Uh, and this kind of affects the, how effective they are at letting the heart pump blood around the body. And I'll explain that now in a bit more detail. So if you imagine this is an artery here, uh, and I'll explain what this bump is here in a second. But if this artery's got blood coming from the heart from this side, so this is blood flow coming through here, the compliance or the stiffness as they're talking about is the artery's natural ability to expand as a pump of blood comes through it, so it gets bigger to allow the, blood, the volume of blood to go through. So if there's a big pump of blood coming through here like this, the artery will expand, expand and then contract as the, as the blood goes through. Okay? And that's quite important because if you've got arterial stiffness, or if your arteries are quite compli not compliant, basically the artery doesn't respond in this way, so this part of the artery won't expand to the same effect that it did when you were younger. And what that means is the heart's got to work harder to push that blood through because there's not as much give in the artery walls, which again is going to cause more strain on the heart over time. The good news is that physical activity, or getting enough physical activity, can help reduce and ward off the effects of arterial compliance with age. And there's been a number of studies done on this. A recent study has shown that taking part in regular recreational activity, especially vigorous exercise, can slow down the rate that people's arteries stiffen with age. So three months of aerobic exercise training was enough to reverse the arterial stiffening in middle-aged, older participants who were not physically active before taking part in the study. So basically that means that it's never too late. Okay, so as you can see from this diagram here, this is, imagine this is a, an artery and it's a cross section of the artery, so this is inside. And what you've got here is bad cholesterol and white blood cells, dead white blood cells and toxic waste from the dead blood cells which try to attack the bad cholesterol. It gathers on the artery walls as something called plaque. So these plaques can grow over time. And basically what they do is they just re restrict the blood supply again. So if the heart is pumping blood through the arteries, as you can see, there's more space here than there is here. So this is going to cause extra strain on the heart as it pumps through. Okay, and over time, what can happen is these plaques can either get too big, that they basically completely restrict the blood flow through the arteries or pieces of them can break and come off and again restrict the blood flow and what happens then is uh, red blood cells will start to form clots around the, uh, the cholesterol that's broken off and when you get a blood clot like this the blood flow is going to be completely restricted as you can see hardly any blood is going to manage to get through there so if this happens to uh, vessels in the brain, uh, you're going to get a stroke. And if it's vessels that supply the heart or are in direct contact with the heart, then you're more than likely to have a heart attack if you get a blood clot like this in the arteries. If it happens in the lower extremities, such as the legs, uh, the arteries of the legs, you can get peripheral arterial disease. And that basically means that you get really poor circulation to the legs, uh, any wounds you have on the legs don't heal properly because they're not getting the right blood supply uh, and in extreme cases it can lead to amputation. The good news is that getting enough physical activity, uh, specifically aerobic physical activity, can prevent the build-up of uh, bad cholesterol in the body. Uh, numerous studies have shown that, that physical activity is an effective way of preventing this. But it's also important to remember that with things like cholesterol, Diet plays a big part as well, and just doing enough physical activity may not be enough if you're eating very fatty foods and foods that are high in bad cholesterol, which is a whole other topic that we might try and address. Uh, however, once cholesterol plaques do form, they're pretty much there to stay, which is why it's so important to try and get enough physical activity to stop them forming in the first place, 
or to make lifestyle changes to stop any plaques you might have increasing in size and causing this disaster to happen. So one final point about uh, the effects of physical activity on the arteries and blood vessels is that if you do regular physical activity you'll actually increase the amount of blood vessels you have, even the tiny little blood capillaries that have, they all increase in size. And this is good for the heart as well because it has its own blood supply as well. So the more capillarization around the heart muscles, uh, the better supply of oxygen rich blood it'll have to help it work harder and take strain off it. Yeah, and finally, if you are deciding to go out and get, get some physical activity and you do have a heart condition or a respiratory condition, just make sure you speak to your doctor before you do so and make sure that everything you plan to do is okay with them. Okay, thanks very much for tuning in again and we'll be back next week with another video.